Welcome back. This is part six on making the giraffe. Today we're going to begin assembling the giraffe. To start, we're going to work with the nose. I made two separate noses because I'm going to show you two separate nostrils that you can make. So you're going to need your black crochet thread and a smaller crochet needle. And then I always double it up. So I leave that in the middle. Okay, so you're going to go in through the back and come out this hole right here. So right in between your first and second round. Then pull and leave about that much in the back and just put your finger on it so it stays. So then in between the second and third row, go ahead and put your hook or your needle in there. And then just go ahead and double up what you just did. Like that. And then directly parallel to it, go ahead and go into there. And then match it up with the other side. And then double up on that. So you definitely don't want to pull too tight. But if you want to make it a little thicker, you can go ahead and go back through. A couple more times. Okay. Now in the back here. Okay, so when you look at the back, find your original two strands. And you're just going to knot these together. And then go ahead and cut it free. Okay, so that's the first set of nostrils. Okay, now for the second one, it's going to be more like this. So, I'm going to take your nostrils through your nose, and you're just going to go in about right there, so in between round two and three. And then still in between round two and three, but up higher. Work that, and then you'll go over and just in the same places, just parallel. And then same with this, you would just knot it off like we did the other one. And then you can pick which one you would rather have. I'm going to use this one in this video since the other draft I made already had the other nostrils. And we'll compare them at the end. So with attaching the nose, you want to make sure that you got the back in the back where it belongs and then you're attaching the nose to the front of the face. So, go ahead and add a little bit of stuffing to the nose. Not too much. And then see where you would like to place your nose. So for me, I'm placing it 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right below row nine. Once you have it placed, you can go ahead and stick your pins in to hold it in place. Okay, so I have it all pinned into place, and now I'm going to start to sew it in. So, here's where it ended, so I'm just going to go into the next stitch. I'm going to go ahead and pull this through first just to kind of hide that last stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into the head, pop out somewhere not too far from where you were, and then just go right back into that same hole and pop out right with the next stitch. And as you get to the stitches where pins are, you can go ahead and pull the pin out. And then just go right into the next stitch. So you have it. Put it right into the head and pop out again. And we're just going to continue this all the way around. If you're making this for a toy for a little kid, you might want to leave an extra long long yarn tail and go around a couple times just to make sure it's really secure. Okay, and now I'm back to that last stitch. Just gonna go in and just pop down through the next one. Okay, so you see it's nice and secured. Uh, if you wanted to just do another round a row around, you can. If you're satisfied, just go ahead and pop to any stitch and then we're going to knot off on this stitch just to give it that little bit of extra security Okay, and then go ahead and take your yarn tail down through the bottom of the giraffe. And just go ahead and pull up a little bit and snip, and it goes right up into the giraffe. 
there we got the nose attached. Next, we'll go ahead and attach the antlers or horns. So we're going to place these. right after row two. So here's row one, row two. We'll have it go right in between row three and four. So go ahead and get both your antlers placed. About right there. Pin them down and I'll go ahead and attach them with you. Okay, so once you're satisfied with the placement of your horns or antlers, you can go ahead and we'll start attaching. It's a little hard to see because of the dark yarn, but right where your last stitch ended, we're going to go into the next stitch and then down into the giraffe's head. Just like we did with the nose, you'll pop out somewhat nearby and then just go back through the head and then up into the next stitch. And then go down into the next stitch, down into the head pop out and go back through and just continue to work your way around So I have some spots that look a little too loose I don't like. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to go in to the stitch and right back down into the same hole I just popped out of. I'll do the same thing here. Pop out catch the stitch, go right back into the same hole I just came from. And again. So, now it's attached. I'm happy with it. It's not loose. So, go ahead and go up to a stitch and knot off, just like we did with the nose. And pull it through and just pop out in the back of the head and leave it there because we'll attach the other side's yarn tail with that. So just go ahead and look, make sure your second horn or antler is still in a good placement. You might have bumped it around when you were sewing in the other one. And just go ahead and sew in your second one. I'll pause the video, you pause your video, and when we get back we'll be attaching the ears. Okay, so I have both horns attached. I took the yarn tails of both and took them through the back of the head in the same stitch. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tie them together twice. I'm going to put both of them on the yarn needle. And 
and then just go just go right into the stitch that you popped out of and take the yarn tails down through the bottom of the giraffe. And go ahead and pull and snip. So now you have your two antlers attached. So now take your ears. We're just going to do one ear at a time. Just see where you'd like it. I'm putting mine just about a stitch below the antler. And then just pin it into place. Like that. And go ahead and sew this one into place here. So here's where the yarn tail ended. So we'll just get to go into the next stitch, take it straight down into the giraffe's head, pop out nearby. Okay. So then pop out right where you want the tip of the ear to be attached. Go ahead and secure the tip of the ear so it stays where you want it. And pop out more towards the end. So now the top of your ear is secured right there. So then we'll go ahead and we'll attach the bottom of the ear. Let's see here. I don't want mine right here, so that's one, two, three, four, about four spaces in between where I attach the top. I'll go ahead and attach the bottom. So now I'm going to take my pins out, and then I'm just going to go ahead and attach the sides. Okay, so just once your ear is attached, go ahead and pop up to any of the ear stitches and just knot off. And take it down through. And just like we did with the antlers, we'll go ahead and just leave this here for after we get the other ear attached. So now that we have the one ear attached, you're just going to try. You can 
go from like, okay, right here where the top of the ear went and you can go and trace your finger around and know that you want the top ear to go in here. But you're going to need to eyeball and just kind of measure it up here. Okay, so I have my ear pinned in place. I have it pretty even how I want it. So now I'm going to go ahead and sew it in. Go ahead and pause your video and sew your ear in and we'll meet back right after we get it attached. Okay, so I have both my ears attached. I took the yarn tails through the back. So my yarn tails are pretty uneven, so I'm just going to go ahead and snip it a little bit shorter and make it even. But go ahead and put that on your yarn needle. And then just like we've been doing, go into the same stitch and just work the tails to the bottom of the giraffe. And pull a little bit and snip. So as you're attaching things, if you've never made amigurumis before, your giraffe will be a little misshapen. You can just play around with the stuff and get it back into the shape that you'd like. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach the mouth now. So here's your mouth that you have. This is the beginning yarn tail. So what we're going to do with this first is we're going to take this and put it through this first single crochet, uh, single crochet stitch. That way both yarn tails are on the end like that. So then you're going to see where you want to place it and then just go ahead and go in and pull it to it just like that and then I'm going to go ahead And pop out in the middle there and go into the next stitch pop down through and take it to the back of the head there. So we got it part, partially attached. Now we'll go ahead and take the other yarn tail and try to get it as even as you can. Pop down through And then go back and go through the next stitch. And then pop back through to the other yarn tail. So now you get the mouth attached. So go ahead and knock this off.
Again, I'm just going to snip it a little bit shorter. So the optional part, you can even you can either just leave it like that, or you can take a piece of red felt and you can cut a little tongue to shape with the mouth, and then hot glue it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hot glue, put it up here. In the tongue and get this felt real even there and just hold it into place. And there you go. Okay, so now let's attach the front legs. Alright, so if I were to count from the bottom, it's kind of hard to see here. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, 13. Attach it to row 13 from the bottom up. From the top down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Attaching it to 28. Um, so, before you attach with pins, go ahead and just measure up both front legs, make sure they're where you want them to be, and then go ahead and pin one of them into place, and we'll attach one leg at a time. Okay, so now we got one pinned into place. We'll go ahead and attach it. Now with the front leg, you're going to want to stay in the same row when you're stitching in. So go into that space right here. This is where we're attaching. And then pop through and grab the first stitch. And then you can go back in, pop out after the next stitch, and then pop through and grab this next stitch. And then go back in. Come out, pop through, and just continue this all the way across. You can start taking pins out. get easier
Okay, so you see you're under, you're going into the same stitch the whole time. So, I'm satisfied with how that's attached. Uh, if you were making this for a little kid, I'd probably go ahead and do one more row through here. But since I'm satisfied with how it's attached, I'm going to go ahead and knot off here. And take this yarn tail through the back and just leave it there until you get your other arm attached. So then just go ahead and line up your next arm and get it nice and even and attach it with pins. Okay, go ahead and pause your video and attach your second arm. Okay, so I now have both arms attached to my giraffe. Your giraffe should look very similar to mine now. I'm going to go ahead and end part six of this tutorial right now. I will see you again at part seven where we will attach the back legs, the spots and the eyes and the tail. Thank you for watching so far. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for part seven. Thank you.